Good morning, Facebook uh, friends and family, as well as Center Baptist Church family um, out here on the deck on this cool morning. Um, I love these cool mornings and um, just started these devotions from my deck uh, at the beginning of this kind of shelter in place as a way to try to be an encouragement. Well, I appreciate every pastor that's doing uh, a lot of these type of things and well you pray for your pastor you encourage him as he's trying to do these things as well um, but it's just an honor to be able to share in this way and, and really what I'm doing is just um, not a structured um, it's just from the overflow of the things from my morning devotions um, I want to encourage you to um, have those times um, I think the morning is the best time um, I really do. I think you should be with the Lord before you are with anybody else. Um, he should be the first person that you talk to every morning. So I uh, thank you, Miss George, for watching, Miss Marilyn. God bless you. I appreciate both of y'all and others that are joining with us. Um, again, always love to show you the sunrise. We have a, a great view from our back deck of that sun coming up. And it's just the beginning of the day, and uh, God has been good. Um, I have been, uh, there's Miss Laura praying for you, Miss Laura. Prayed for you this morning, as a matter of fact, as you are out there um, serving and ministering as a nurse. And we appreciate you, and so many of you um, that are on the front lines know that we are praying for you. This morning, I finished up the book of Acts. And um, boy, it really just um, spoke to me as Paul is um, now making his way to Rome. They were shipwrecked um, and had to spend some time on an island. And uh, but how God brought people. Is, here's the thing that God kept speaking to me. God always has people, people that will come into our life and help us in a time of need. When they went to the island of Maltea, there were the, the natives, and then there was a, a gentleman who had an estate um, who showed great hospitality to Paul and, and just blessed him and blessed the people. And then they went to another island, and there were believers there that Paul was able to be encouraged. And then he makes his way to Rome. Remember, he, he is there in, uh, being in prison for really just, just being a Christian. The Jews didn't like him. He was arrested. He spends two years with Felix. Now he's making his way to Rome, was shipwrecked. Now he is in Rome, and he's making his way into the city. Listen to what the Bible says. When he got there, they were, they were all the way people lined up, believers, had heard he was coming as far as the Forum of Palace and the Three Taverns. When Paul saw them, he thanked God, and he took courage. People matter. Paul, the Bible says, when Paul saw them, saw the believers, he first of all thanked God. He, he gave praise to God for putting people in his life. There was an encouragement. And then it said he took courage. It's the only time that word for the Greek word for courage is used in the New Testament. And it literally means to take confidence, to take boldness. We are not meant to walk this life alone. And in this time of isolation, shelter in home, shelter in place, the virus, um, we need people more than ever. Now, we can't physically do the things that we once did, but we still can connect like this, um, through phone call, through text, through cards, letting people know that they are not alone. Paul said when he, the Bible said when Paul saw them, he thanked God. In other words, he gave God praise for putting people in his life that would encourage him. There is the power of presence. It is real. And he took courage. So here's the thing that came to my mind about that, first of all. Number one, I thank God for every person who's done that. Every person that when I see them, I thank God and I take courage. Because when I know they're praying for me or they send an encouraging note or a text or a phone call, I'm telling you, I give God praise for people like that. And that encourage my heart that seeing them, hearing from them gives courage. But then I thought, number two, God, let me be that person. 
let me be that person to be able to speak that into somebody's heart through a text, through a phone call, through a, through a letter, through email, through a visit if I'm able to, and just simply say, hey, I'm here. It's not even said they said a word. It was when he saw them, he took courage, and he thanked God. I want to be that person that when, I, when, when somebody hears from me, that it encourages them and not discourages them. Amen. You all know those people that you're thankful when they come into the room, and there are some people you're thankful when they go out of the room. I want to be the person that is encouraging others. So let's be that. And then finally, the Bible says as it ends up in Acts, and I know I'm going over here and I normally do, but just listen. And while he was there, he stayed two whole years in his own rented house, and he welcomed all who visited him, proclaiming the kingdom of God, teaching the things concerning the Lord Jesus Christ with full boldness and without him. Here's what amazed me. You can shut somebody in, but doesn't mean you have to shut somebody up. Paul was isolated. He was in a house arrest for two years. But during that time, he wrote the, many of the letters in the New Testament. He taught the Word of God. He preached Jesus. He reached guards. He reached other people as people come into him. And I want to say to you, just because you're shut in does not mean we have to be shut up. There are still things we can do. Words of encouragement, sharing through cards and letters. Um, the thing that we're doing in our church where we hand out cards of hope, um, signs, we're putting signs up that just say, there is hope. Looking for ways to say, I still want to point people to Jesus. So let me just encourage you today. Number one, let's thank God for the people that have encouraged us. Amen. Number two, let's be those people that encourage others. And number three, let's not be shut up even though we're shut in. Let's let God use us for his glory even in the midst of this. So let me pray that for us. Father, thank you for this time this morning as this sharing from the overflow of my heart what you're speaking to me. And I pray that it would be true. Help us to be those people. But can we just say thank you for the people in our life that you bring in our pathway that when we see them or hear from them, we thank you and we take courage. And then, Father, help us to be those people as well in others' lives. And then, Father, today I pray help us not to be shut up. In other words, Father, Lord, we, we just pray help us to point others to you today, to magnify you today in whatever we do, that we will make much of you. Thank you for those that are gathered in and those that will be watching later on. We give you praise in Christ's name. Amen. Hey, just want to say thank you this morning. Uh, Miss Melanie, God bless you. Uh, Shannon, thank you for joining this morning. Miss Vicki, Dalphia, Miss Jean, uh, Juanita, God bless you, Miss Juanita. Appreciate you again. Uh, Dalphia, Miss Laura, Marilyn, Joyce, God bless each one of you. Others that are joining, pray the Lord bless you today. I look forward to uh, what God has for you. Pray the Lord encourage you and the Lord bless you. Uh, have a good day.